So look who's back for the dead, all right? We back and we back with vengeance because today we got to talk about something that just happened today, all right? Because there's been a guy who's been overall all over YouTube recently just for being a nuisance and his name is Master Ugwe and well, this dude just got terminated. Now, if you're clicking on this video and you have no idea who this guy is, let me give you a little bit of a breakdown. Now, this guy is one of the most hated shorts creators on this damn platform, all right? And let me tell you exactly why. Now, this guy has been known to make very weird videos, uh, edgy humor vids that you think Leafy is here would have made back in 2016 and uh, well, people hate him for that and rightfully so because he doesn't just make your normal edgy humor videos where you may say a joke that's like edgy he's genuinely said some things that are pretty uh pretty pretty screwed up to say the least and one of the most popular of those things being when he ended up making a song for a short or something like that in which he mentioned uh dribbler himself which uh if you know you know and the thing with this master ugwe guy is he loves to spam the n-word too uh so yeah people are pretty pissed at him to say the least for that now with that being said he just got terminated today because he's been having a lot of controversy because on YouTube so people have been looking for answers like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do YouTube like are you gonna do something about this guy's channel like he's been breaking TOS and well YouTube woke up one day I guess and decided you know what let's finally nuke this guy off the platform like a con man and they did just that they've got him absolutely gone and uh well people are actually happy about this believe it or not it's not one of those cases where people are on Twitter oh unban him YouTube unban him they're they're actually happy he's gone and I mean I don't really know the guy like that I don't really care about his content to be honest but um I, I, shit, I can't say I feel bad and well a lot of people don't feel bad either so oh fuck Ugh. and well I guess master Ugwe could feel that nobody really gives a shit about him or what he has going on so you know this moron decided to post a video I guess asking YouTube to unban him I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip so you see how stupid this guy is well guys I'm officially permanently banned from YouTube for making memes I guess the people that disliked me spam reported me so much that YouTube had no choice but to permanently ban me it is unfortunate I gave four years of my life for this. Just making silly jokes. Some, of course, may go too far, but that's with every joke. At the end of the day, some people find it funny. Some people, some people find it unfunny. Some people think it goes too far. Some people don't. Uh, that's why jokes and comedy should have freedom of speech. But yeah, uh, it's very silly. I'm not able to post anywhere anymore besides this account. And uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that I thank you, um, I love you, and um, thanks for watching me for all this time, but uh, I guess this is an end of a chapter. Uh, I'm going to post on my Twitter uh, for updates on the band. Now, don't get me wrong, I get the whole freedom of speech, right, comedy, and the jokes that are made and things like that, but this guy just, he's not even funny, per se, he's just cringe, like, it's just like that one dude who wants to fit into the friend group so bad, so he tries to, like, get in on the inside jokes and try to understand what they mean, and them shits just don't land at all. That's the type of vibes I get from watching this dude shit, like, it, it's pretty pathetic, if I'm being 100% honest. Now, don't get me wrong, I definitely feel bad in a way that he, you know, yeah, yeah, it's a grind, like, being a YouTuber, you, you gotta understand that four years is a lot of time to put in your work and then you just get terminated it's pretty ass right but a part of me also can't feel bad because if you break rules just like everybody else you should be banned i don't care if you got a million two million three four million subscribers you should face those same consequences that a normal channel should face as well so i, I mean I, I don't feel bad for this guy in that aspect like i mean shit another one bites the dust i guess and as far as his fan base like him talking about how there's people who like his jokes they hate his jokes and then they you know just don't really care about him i mean that's just with anything you do though but i feel like there's a vast majority of people who just hate this guy for a valid reason he's not like your classic quote-unquote comedian who will use like edgy humor to actually be funny like he just uses that shit for shock value and expects people to laugh like n-word doesn't equal haha funny bro i'm sorry to tell you but like saying that shit does not make you a, a, a comedic genius like we gotta stop that narrative now he also dropped another video talking about his termination and he kind of went more in depth as to why so I i'm gonna play that clip so you guys can hear what this guy has to say what's up guys i just wanted to give you guys an update why i got banned Everyone thinks it's because of my uh, Austrian Painter song. Uh, Austrian Painter is my N-word song, but that's far from the truth. Um, what I got banned is just from community guideline strikes, um, but silly ones as well. Uh, I got banned for a video that is extremely harmless, and I'm gonna show you guys wh what the video is. As you can see, it's just a silly joke, you know? There are many, many other videos like this out there. I'm pretty sure if you made this video, nothing would happen. But for some reason, uh, people spam reported me. 
I currently have a lot of haters. I don't know why. I think they always hated me. Pretty sure they did. They always hated me. And now, because uh, they had the chance to try to ruin my career, they do their best. And uh, they're all jumping on the hype to cancel me. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happening right now. And uh, it's crazy. I'm sure YouTube realizes this mistake. Uh, YouTube knows all about me as well. Uh, they removed my songs even on uh, this account, which uh, shows that uh, they are aware of uh, what I post and uh, what I do and which accounts are connected with each other. So yeah, I'm sure that YouTube knows that this uh, video that got removed is a mistake. The algorithm uh, didn't see it properly. And I hope I just get reinstated. Because imagine guys, giving four years of your life to a platform and they don't even want to talk to you. 10 million subscribers that want to watch my videos daily don't get to see my videos anymore because some haters try to ruin my career. It's crazy. Please, YouTube, don't let these haters ruin the joy of the people that actually do want to watch me. It's always hilarious to see somebody cry hater, hater, hater when they actually get banned or they get consequences for doing some dumb shit. Like, oh, bro, it's my haters reporting me, bro. I'm sorry to tell you, but you are probably going to get terminated anyway if millions of people are saying they hate your shit and you're openly violating YouTube's terms of service. Like, I I'm pretty sure it's not people hating on you that's getting you banned. It's probably you being a dumbass and think you could get away with it. Like, seriously, my brain hurts sitting here trying to comprehend how, how idiotic somebody could be, like how self-aware obviously does not exist in this guy's brain but you know um it, I, I really don't know what to say about this situation besides it is what it is like if he gets some man that'll be cool for him i guess if he doesn't well shit haha i guess i just feel like as youtube viewers and youtubers in general we kind of have to hold people to a certain you know standard like i think it's very very common for youtube to be unfair especially in a lot of situations and it seems like they're finally doing something that is actually justifiable it's not them just banning somebody for some bullshit like how they normally do it's just the guy being a dickhead and they banned him i guess that's just really all you could say like at the end of the day we're gonna get a ton of other youtubers who come and try to be a master uwe because they've seen his success formula they're gonna try to bring the edgy humor back in well Sorry to tell you, this ain't 2017, 2016 no more, bro. Drama Alert isn't the top news source no more, bro. So, uh, that whole edgy humor shit, it's just not sliding. Do I care about it? No. Am I gonna cry if somebody says a word that's offensive? No, I, I really do not care. But we just gotta realize the masses don't really fuck with that stuff nowadays. So, just honestly, just, just be smart. That's all I can really say. In uh, this guy's case, I don't know why he's even trying to get unbanned. He's probably not. It's better chance of JFK coming back than this guy getting unbanned. So, he might as well just call it and i guess enjoy the run he had on youtube but yeah master ugwe got terminated victory for youtube viewers i guess uh everybody's happy about it it's all over twitter and people are celebrating so yeah appreciate it